Okay, hello everybody. Um, I'm going to do this video on the uh, project three uh, to give you guys some sort of uh, an idea of what I was looking for. So let's go to the uh, to the project three sheet here really quickly and, and go over this. Um, first page again is just kind of a summary of what's going on. So don't need to worry about that. Um, for the survey link, uh, as I said in class, um, there was a little bit of a, of a miscommunication and I was not able to get the uh, survey, link, survey link to you guys for the semester. So I apologize for that, that's on me. Um, that being the case, we're going to use, uh, we're going to use data from previous semesters, which has already been uploaded. So um, we don't have to worry about the survey. So on page two, again, this is the, the main, the grading criteria. This is what I am going to be grading on. Uh, so question one, again, each group should, each group member should complete the survey online. Again, that was, there was a miscommunication on my part. So we're going to skip question one. Uh, question two, pick two numerical grade elements you are interested in. So um, the examples given here are test one grade and the homework average. There are other ones uh, here as well. well. We'll take a look at the data itself to see what, what there are, but uh, you're picking two of those. So you're going to pick one, going to do what I'm going to show you here using StackCrunch, and then you're going to pick a second one, do the same thing. Um, and what we're going to do is going to use statistics to analyze the data. data. We're, we're going to use the statistics we talked about in class to analyze the data. So we're going to be looking at um, the mean. What is the mean? What is the median? What is the mode? What is the standard deviation? We're going to look at the five um, the five number summary, which are our, our quarter um, quartiles. I was going to say quarters. Uh, quartiles. It's the uh, the five numbers that that split the the data into quarters. And uh, then we're going to, for part B, we're going to use a histogram and we're also going to use a box plot to display the data. Um, so you're going to look at, so we're going to have two, two graphs uh, for, for this first question two. Uh, two graphs per data element. So take for example, for test one, you're going to do the box plot graph, you're going to do the histogram graph. And you're going to get the, the five number summary. And then again, the mean, median mode, standard deviation. And um, part C, analyze the data in the histogram. So you're going to do a short paragraph uh, after those images have been inserted or maybe before. You can put the images where you want as, uh, at the beginning or the, at the end. I don't really care as long as they're both there. Um, Basically, you're going to analyze the data. You're going to say uh, this is the median is a 70 percent. That means, and then say what it means. The standard deviation was 20 points. That means, and then say what that means. Remember the standard deviation when we talked about that. Remember the standard deviation. The lower the standard deviation, the more consistency there is throughout the whole um, uh, data. The higher the standard deviation is, the less consistency there is and the more variation there is. Um, and and we'll, we'll be doing this on StackCrunch. So I'll, so I'll show you how to use StackCrunch to get those. It's very similar to what we did uh, previously with StackCrunch, but again, I, I did want to go over specifically how to use StackCrunch for, for this data set that we're using. Um, so that is question two. So you're going again. You're, you're doing this two times. One for one of the numerical uh, grade categories, and one for a second numerical grade category. Uh, the examples given here are the test one grade and the homework average. It doesn't have to be those two. Um, I would recommend at least choosing one different from from the test one or the homework, uh, since I'm going to be using those two examples to show you. Question three, decide on a burning question about the data. So one question might be whether girls outperform boys on a particular item. Um, you can also uh, guess at what the answer is um, before you analyze it. So you could say, well, um, I suspect that girls and boys perform about the same on test one. And then you can analyze the data and decide whether you are uh, right or wrong. Or you can just say, well, this is the question that I had, whether girls uh, outperform boys or boys outperform girls. And here is, 
here is the uh, the statistics on that. Um, so you're going to be uh, what I what I am going to be looking for for this one are also the histograms in the box plot. Uh, here it all, it mentions um, correlation. So if you wanted to, you could do a scatter plot um, as well. I'll, I'm not going to require you to have that. Uh, you'll have to have at least two of those three things. So uh, two of either the box plot, the histogram, or the uh, scatter plot. And then the uh, the last uh, part B is analyze the data and answer your burning questions. You're going to look at you're going to again find the same statistical data. You're going to find the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation in those with those specific categories. And again, I'll show you how to do that on StatCrunch. And you're going to decide um, what that says about the data, if there is anything that can be said about the data. Um, just as a, as a quick note here, let me make sure that I'm still on the right screen, sorry. Um, just as a note, uh, if you are, if you have a small amount of data, so let's say you have uh, less than 50, uh, 50 is still a pretty small number, but let's say you have even less than that, less than 50 um, data points, then that's not enough data to say one way or the other on uh, what, the, what the performance, what the stati statistics implies. There's not enough data to say what the statistic says. Uh, you, can, you can show the statistics, statistical results, um, but you can't really make any conclusions uh, based on a small amount of data. So, um, and that, that I'm mentioning because I'm going to use the same um, example that they give here uh, to show you. And that will show up as, as part of it is, is one of these categories is going to have a very small amount of data points. And so we won't be able to say one way or the other. Uh, so I wanted to, to mention that. Uh, and so again, you're going to analyze the data, you're going to compare, you know, well, this was this was the the um, this was the mean and the standard deviation for this one category. This was the mean and the standard deviation for this other category. They are about the same, so they do perform the same. Or this one is a little bit better, or is significantly better. Depends on what the data says. So that is that is uh, a kind of an overview of what we're looking at. Now, the data uh, has from the. This, this survey data from a previous semester has already been uploaded to Web Campus, so hopefully you uh, have downloaded that. Um, it's on the one module. I've downloaded that, uh, and I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to look at that. Um, one thing that I would recommend doing is to open it in either Excel or Google, Google Sheets. Uh, I don't have Excel on my uh, personal laptop, so I'll show you how to open it with Google Sheets. Um, so here's a web browser on Google Sheets. Uh, I just just Googled it. It brings up this. So you'll click the first link, Google Sheets. Should look like this. Uh, you'll click on Go to Google Sheets on the Personal tab because you know you are doing this on on your personal one. Um, as long as you're logged into your Rebel Mail, it will open this up. Um, so it'll look like here you'll have some. Uh, some uh, information on starting a new spreadsheet, or you might have previous 30 days. This might be blank. Uh, if you haven't used your Google Drive, uh, that's associated with your Rebel Mail. Um, if it's not, if you have used your, your uh, uh, Google Drive, then there might be some things here. Um, it, it really depends on. But uh, what we're looking for is this, this uh, file folder right here. Uh, hopefully you can see, I, I'm going to double check um, when, I, when, I, when, the, when the video is compiled to see if you can see where the, where the mouse pointer is. I'm going to look for this folder right here that's, kinda, that's underneath the start new and uh, kind of right here where the previous 30 days is. Again, below here might be blank. Um, but it, there should still be this these options. Uh, so you're going to go to the file folder icon. You're going to click on that, and it's going to bring up this um, this window. You're going to click on upload, and uh, let me show you what I have here. I think I can. Yeah, I can. I can um, share multiple screens, I believe. Okay, I should be 
sharing multiple screens. Here's my download folder. So I've downloaded it. Here's the survey data. You're just going to drag this over. Um, so you're going to remember where you saved it to your, to your download folder. It should be just in, in the standard download um, for Windows. I don't know about for uh, Mac since I don't use a Mac. I haven't used a Mac in, oh, wow, <laughs> in at least a decade. So um, that might be different on a Mac, but that's where you can find it on your, on your uh, Windows machine. And the reason why is because here the first column, uh, they don't is is the way that it's programmed in. It's not really um, very clear what the question is that was asked. So take for example here question twenty eight. Well, what is question twenty eight? Even if we did the survey, it would be hard to say. But if you go to the one below that, you'll you'll see here enter your instructor's last name, and you can kind of guess what some of these are from the solution uh, from solutions from the answers from the survey, but some of them you might not be able to. So question one here, click there, what is your class standing? So we have freshman, sophomore, uh, junior, senior, other, and we can scroll over, what is your major? So uh, you can look at this in terms of major, how many credit hours are you enrolled in for this semester? So you can look at that, uh, less than 12, 12 to 15, 16 to 19. Uh, how many hours uh, per, per week do you work? So um, uh, what is what does your work look like? Less than 10 hours, 10 to 19 hours, 20 to 29 hours, 30 to 39, so on. Um, so these are these are the different categories. You'll notice a lot of these are um, are not the numerical data that we're looking for. So a lot of these you can you can use any of these previous questions here. Um, is this the first time you're enrolled in Math 120? If you wanted to, you could ask. Um, for the third part, uh, for for question three, um, do students that have taken Math 120 in the past do better on the exams? And then you can use this category. So that's uh, question eight here. And so you can just scroll over and you'll you'll look at that. Um, when were you last enrolled? If you enrolled before, so that's kind of all related to the one uh, before. How many hours per week do you study for the class? Um, and that's for this specific class, not necessarily how many hours per, per week do you study? Question 17, do you watch the video lectures? And then question 10, um, these, these questions, question 10 underscore one through six, uh, through seven, sorry. These are the grade categories. So question one, uh, please type, uh, so this one is the homework average. You can see there, question 12, this is the mini project average. Question 10-3, uh, that's test one. 10-4, that's test two, and so on. So uh, what I would do is I would go through and I would uh, try to write down, um, after you've decided which, which elements to look at, write down which ones you have uh, that you're interested in. So here, 10 underscore one, that's homework. So I'm going to write that down here. Uh, as homework for my personal notes, since that's what I'm going to be showing you on, on StackCrunch. And then I think it was four, no, three. 10 underscore three was test one. Uh, so there's that. Uh, if, if I have time, I'll maybe send out an email with uh, what each one of these questions is. Um, so that is how you can open it with Google Sheets. If you open it with Excel, it will look basically the same. But again, I don't have Excel on my on, on my personal laptop here. So I wanted to show you how to do that with um, Google Sheets. Uh, and that that should it should uh, work out just fine as long as you're logged in to your uh, Rebel Mail, since Rebel Mail is done through Google as well. OK. Uh, so next, we want to go to StackCrunch. So you're going to log in to your Pearson. You're going to click on StackCrunch here. You're going to click on Start the StackCrunch website, um, which will open a new window. Open StackCrunch. It will open up a new window. The 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 one bad thing about this is it open up op it opens up tons of windows that are that I think is unnecessary. But that's that's what we're working with here. All right. So StackCrunch, you go to data, load, from file, and on my computer. So that's how you're going to find the, uh, the file, that the, the data, the survey data. <laughs> I wanted to say data survey, the survey data 
from previous semester uh, on my computer. And again, it's going to open up this. Um, let me see if I can share the download window again here. So you have your download window. You're going to just drag this over. And then we don't need that anymore. So let's have that go away. Oh, oh OK. Hold on. <laughs> I, I uh, selected the wrong one. There we go. OK, sorry about that. So here now we have um, we dragged it over. Uh, you don't need to change any of these other settings. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Then you click Upload, and it's going to load that into StackCrunch. Um, it may or may not take a while. I don't know um, really how long it will it will take. It might depend on your machine that you're using. It might also depend on your internet connection. Uh, but it should look like this once it is uploaded. Um, so I, I deleted those previous ones since those I kind of already showed you in class, uh, or at least showed some of, some of the classes uh, where there was time. So here is the data sheet. Uh, you'll notice that it, it will uh, say private. It will have today's date. It will have zero views. Uh, you just click on that, and it opens that up in StackCrunch. Um, that is if you have not opened it before. Uh, you might have already uploaded it to uh, StackCrunch, so you might already see that uh, in the StackCrunch website, but that's, that's what it will look like if you have not yet. And so you'll notice this is the exact same Excel sheet. The problem that I have with StackCrunch is notice here when I have question one selected, it, it doesn't show me anywhere here in the window what that is. Uh, it only shows me part of it. Uh, I guess I could drag this over enough um, if I wanted to, but I'm kind of too lazy to do that, especially with all of these. Um, so I guess that that is another option that you can do is you can drag these over um, and change the column size. Uh, but that, that might be a little too much uh, work from, for what it's worth. Um, anyways, OK, so let's look at the homework. So the homework was uh, column 10-1. So I, I'm going to scroll over here. And under 10-1, I'm actually, if you click on the column there, you can change it. So I'm going to change it to homework to indicate that that's what it is. Um, what else did we have? 10-3 was test 1. So that is test 1. And then question 6 is gender, since that was mentioned uh, I, in the actual project uh, outline, I will show you that example. You don't have to use that example, um, but you, you can use gender if you want to. So, okay. Uh, so then you're going to go to, let's do, the, let's do the statistics first. So let's go to stat, summary stats, and you're going to choose columns since this is separated into columns. And then you'll notice here we'll have all of the questions that are numerical. Um, so here there's homework, or that will say 10 underscore 1 if you haven't changed it. And then here we're going to do, uh, I like to include n. Uh, n is the number of data points there are. Uh, mean, you're going to choose, oh, hold on. I did not push the right one. Uh, n mean, you're going to hold control and then click to select multiple. Uh, median is here. Mode, I think, is at the bottom. And then standard deviation, I think, is here at the top. And it will show up in this order. Uh, I don't know if you can reorganize it after you've selected it. Uh, but that's fine. And then you hit Compute. And it will pull up this uh, table. So here for homework, there were 305. So that's 305 students during this semester at this data that we're using. The mean was a 77.9%. Median is an 86%. The mode is 100% with a standard deviation of 25%. So that is our summary here. Um, and we'll do the same thing for the, uh, for the quartiles in just a moment. Uh, you can go to options. I think if you go to download, is this one? No, that one's to download it as an HTML. Maybe we can save this. Um, I don't know if saving it was going to help. Uh, you might just have to copy this down as a table. I haven't quite gotten the hang of this this particular part yet. Uh, or I guess you could copy it 
and then paste it as a, as a graph. So that might be the best way to do it. Um, but there's the data. Uh, if you want to, you can even just copy this by hand or copy this with what, uh, this on half the screen and, and your uh, paper on half the screen and type it up and then just use the data. All right. Um, and remember, the, the nice thing about Static Crunch, if I hit X, that doesn't actually close it. That just minimizes it. And it is still here under results. So here are summary stats for homework. Let's do the uh, uh, quartiles. You're going to do summary stats again, columns. Um, you're going to choose homework. And then uh, you're going to choose, uh, well, let's, let's keep n. Might as well. Uh, minimum is our lowest value. Uh, Q1 is the, oh, I have to push control, sorry. Uh, uh, minimum is our lowest value. Q1 is our lower quartile. Median is our middle quartile. Q3 is the upper quartile. And then max is the um, biggest value. And then you hit compute. And then here's the five number summary, minimum, uh, quartile, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and the maximum. So that is uh, the five number summary. And remember, we, do, we just use the no five number summary for the box plots, but again, we'll use uh, stack crunch here to, make, to, to get that data. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, you can, you, you will be able to see on the display when we, when we do this, um, the box plot, you'll be able to see on the, on the display these numbers as well, but it won't, uh, it won't stay there unless you hover the mouse over, over top. So um, if you want to actually write it down, this is where it is, um, where you want to find it. It's going to hit the X button again. That just minimizes it on Stack Crunch, which is uh, good or bad, I guess, depends on who you ask. Um, next, we want to do the graph. So you're going to go to graph. You're going to go to, let's do the box plot first. Box plot. We'll choose homework. And uh, let's go ahead and include the mean and the median. And then right here on the other options, uh, use fences to identify outliers. You can unselect that if you want to. I would recommend it. Um, but really, you can go either way. Uh, drop boxes horizontally, I'm going to select because that is just what our textbook used. Um, you don't have to do it horizontally if you don't want to, but I'm just trying to stick with how the book presented it. And then compute. And here is your box plot. Um, I think you can change some of the options here. Uh, title, you could say that this is the homework. Oh, let's go back to the title. Sorry, homework box plot. Hit OK, there that, there that is. Um, you can change the size of the window. I think changing the size of the window will cha change the size of the image. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to go to Options and Download. That's going to ask uh, what you want the name. So let's call this Homework Box Plot and hit OK. And then it will save that to uh, Downloads, I believe, is where it saves it. So you're just going to hit Save File to Downloads. And let, let's actually go to Downloads and see if it's there. Aha, right here, Homework Box Plot. Let's open that up and see what we got. Uh, and while that's opening, let me go to, there we go. So here is that image. And this is at 100%. That looks like it was the same size as the window. So if you want it to be bigger, then you just increase the size of the window in StackCrunch before you download it. If you want it to be smaller, you decrease the size of the window. Uh, but this is what I'm looking for. So again, this, this saves to your download folder. So you just insert this into your essay, into whatever you're using for your um, word processor, whether it is Microsoft Word or some other, some other one. All right, let me close. Let me close that and close the download folder. Oh, and go back to Stack Crunch. Okay, so let's close that. Don't need the that at the moment. And then we go to graph. Uh, the the other graph we need is the histogram. So we go to graph. Click on histogram. And again, you're going to choose homework. Uh, and you can, again, include the median and the mean, the mean, the median, if you want. And the bins, um, here with the bins, I'm going to let you decide what you want it to do. Uh, usually, you start at 0. And the width is how, how 
big the bin is. So if you want it to be a bin size of 10, then it will be zero to nine, then 10 to 19, 20 to 29. If you have the bin size is five, it will be zero to four, five to nine, 10 to 14, and so on. Um, I'm just going to pick 10 because that is a nice number, but you can you can play with that and choose what you want it to do. Uh, the other thing that I like to do uh, is I like to have the value above the bar that tells you how many uh, students are in that bin. So if we hit compute, here's our histogram. Again, you can click on the little uh, three button bar here and change the title. So this is the homework histogram. Okay. And so if you notice, if I hover the mouse over here, it's zero to 10, or I guess this is zero to nine. Uh, and there are 17 students that had a homework score from zero to 9%. Uh, here from, um, if the mouse works, there we go from 10 to 19. Uh, there are six students. So six students in, in this survey had uh, homework average between 10% and 19%. Uh, that's what the number on top tells us. And then the green and the red are the mean and the median. Uh, so there is our histogram. Again, you're going to get, you're going to select options and then download. You'll uh, choose a name for it, homework, histogram, hit OK. It'll save it to the download folder if you click Save File. Um, or it will ask you, depending on what your what machine you have, whether it's uh, Windows or I'm not sure what Apple has you do. It might have a different window. But uh, so that's for the first part. So let, let's go back to the um, project three. What I say is the first part is question two. Pick two numerical grades. So that one was homework. Then you do a short paragraph after you include those two images and the uh, information, the tables that you get, then you're going to have a, a paragraph, a small paragraph, but you know, paragraph, full sentences, all of that, explaining what does the data mean? What is, what is the mean? What is the median? What is the mode? What does that mean? What is the standard deviation? Is that big or low? Or is, that, is it a high value or a low value? What does that mean for the data? Um, and you're going to do that twice. Once uh, for one of those, so I did homework, the other one could be test one or test two, uh, and so on. So I'll let you decide which two you want. Um, so you, you're doing that twice. And that's uh, question two. Question three, decide on a burning question. So this one says uh, girls outperform boys, that's gender. And a particular item, let's say test one. So let's go back to the uh, stat crunch, to our data here. Okay. Uh, let's do the uh, summary stats first, just like we did before. So you're going to go to stat, summary stats, columns, again, because this is columns. You're going to choose test one. And then um, you're going to choose N, uh, mean, median. Where is our mean? There it is. Mode, I think, is at the bottom. And the standard deviation is close here at the top. Uh, but now, for this question three, you're going to look at, you see this group by option here. You're going to click that and you're going to choose gender in this case. Then you're going to hit compute. And so notice here uh, for female, it will it groups this by, by gender. So for female, there's 189 females that were uh, doing the survey. The mean for them was 74. 0.9%, the median was 76%, the mode was 70%, and the standard deviation was 17%. For male, there was 115 males, there was 78% for their mean, and so on. And then not listed, so that would be other uh, three individuals. So you can say what the mean, the median, the mode, and the standard deviation is, but again, three is a very small number, so you can't really say statistically one way or the other what uh, is going on with that category, since that is a, a very small number. Three is a very small number statistically. Uh, so you close that. And again, you go to the, uh, the five number summary. So you'll go to stat, summary stats, columns, and you'll choose test one again. And uh, here we'll do the uh, minimum, the Q1, that's the lower quartile, median, the Q3 is the upper quartile, the uh, not the mode, the max, 
where is the max? There it is. And again, group by, you're going to choose gender and hit compute. And there it is separated by gender. So there's our five number summary. Uh, so again, you're going to copy that table. Then for the graphs, uh, you do the same, it'll have the same uh, options there. So let's do the history, let's do the box plot. Box plot was, was uh, the one we did first. Uh, so we hit test one. Again, you're going to look for group by, you're going to choose gender or again, whatever it is you're looking at, whether it is gender, could, you could use gender, you can use um, class standing. So uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, you can use the number of credits that they're enrolled in, note the amount of hours that they study for this particular course, whichever category you want to separate this by, um, that fits your, your burning question. Uh, and then again, we'll uh, use fences and draw the boxes horizontally, hit compute, and here it is. So gender, this is not listed, so that's our other, again, there were only three individuals, so we can't really say anything significant uh, for this category. Uh, and then here's male and here's female. So then you would analyze these box plots uh, using the information that we, that we used in class, how to analyze the box plots. Um, and again, you, you'll go to options, download, and it will ask for the file name. Okay. And then histogram is a little bit different. So um, it's mostly the same, but a little bit different. So again, we'll choose test one group by gender. Uh, again, you can choose the bin. I would, for, for this one, if you choose a bin size um, and you're using the same category, so like if you chose a bin size of 10 for the homework and you're doing homework again, try to keep the same bin size. Uh, that's just, you know, try, try to just be consistent with it. And uh, let's also do the mean and the median as well. And you hit compute. And you'll notice here it says one of three. So there are three images here. This one is uh, female. Then you'll, you'll see these uh, forward and back buttons. So the next one, this is male. And then the next one, this is other. And I believe, again, if you go to download, it will ask for the file name. Let's, let's call this uh, test with gender categories. We'll hit OK, save file, and that will show up in your downloads. Let's take a look at what this looks like when you export it. OK, so this is the one that uh, downloaded. So it looks like this was female. That was the one that was selected when I asked it to download. Uh, so you're going to have to do that for each one. Uh, so download the female click next, download the mail, click next, download the other. Uh, so you'll have to download that individually. Um, but then, so you're going to include the box plot, the histograms, and then you're going to have the, the, uh, the tables that has that, that information, the uh, five number summary, which are the quartiles and the, um, the summary stats that we did, the mean, median, mode, standard deviation uh, for each category. And then you're going to have a small paragraph or two explaining not only what, what does that mean, but what does that mean in terms of the question? So in this case, did males outperform females or did females outperform males or was there almost no difference in the two categories? And again, with that other category, because there are only three individuals that, that selected that, that, that is not enough uh, data to really say uh, whether they outperformed males or females or not. There's just not enough data for that. Um, so that's that's what I did want to mention with that. And that is uh, essentially, let me stop the share here. That is essentially what you're doing for project three. So for uh, question one, you're going to skip that because again, the survey that was that was on my, my end. Uh, so you don't have to worry about taking the survey. Uh, but then for question two, you choose two of the uh, numerical categories from the grade, so um, homework average, mini project average, test one score, test two score, which, uh, whichever one you want to choose. Uh, I also think it has the product one and project two scores as well. Um, and then, uh, you, so you choose two of those, you do what we just did. And then again, that paragraph, full sentences, just like you're typing a report, um, uh, summarizing what that means statistically 
and then uh, for for question three, for which I think as the second part, um, doing the burning question. So in the example that was given here, whether males or females perform differently. Uh, but again, you can use any of those categories. Um, class standing, you could use the category, uh, did you take this before or not, yes or no. So you can use that um, as the categories that you're looking at or with whatever you decide to choose. Um, I'm fine with that. So that is, uh, that is the video that I wanted to do on the uh, project three here. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions beyond that, feel free to send me an email or to drop by during office hours if, if it is during office hours and I'll answer those as I am able. Um, anyways, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for your attention. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in class.